Have you been to World Youth Day? I actually can admit I've been to eight. I'm kind of like a World Youth Day junkie. And because of that, and because of the corona pandemic, I would like to invite you to an eight-day encounter. And we're calling it Emmanuel. The first World Youth Day I ever went to was in the back in the year 2000 in Rome. There were 2.5 million people. It was unbelievably hot, and it was fantastic. And I loved it. I would like to lead you, if you would let me, on an eight-day encounter with the Lord called Emmanuel. Each of those days will be based off of the last eight international World Youth Days. Rome, Toronto, Canada, Cologne, Germany, Sydney, Australia, Madrid, Spain, Rio de Janeiro, Krakow, and Panama. If you've been to any of those World Youth Days, I hope that there's a little tug on your heart that's saying, this crazy priest is inviting me to Emmanuel. Emmanuel is going to be an eight-day experience. It'll begin on May 3rd and go until May 10th. Every day, the two bookends will be this. There'll be a mass offered in the morning. I'll actually be wearing the World Youth Day chasuble from those last eight years. There'll be a homily that'll be geared specifically to, to youth and young adults. In the evening, there's going to be a conversation slash dialogue with special guests. And some of our special guests we are so excited about. Steve Angrisano, Catholic songwriter and artist and minister. Matthew Kelly, founder of Dynamic Catholic. Unbelievable book writer. And for many of you, you know him from Decision Point, his confirmation program. Danielle Rose, an unbelievably skilled and beautiful songwriter. And Bob McCarty from the NFCYM, who for countless years led thousands and thousands of teens through NCYC, the National Catholic Youth Conference, and also in collaboration to World Youth Day. During the day, there will be devotions, prayers, and opportunities for you to live out your faith uh, in, in tremendous ways. All of this is going to kind of have a little bit of a World Youth Day theme. So think about the World Youth Day cross, the World Youth Day icon, the Stations of the Cross, going on a pilgrimage, spending the night outside, t-shirts, flags, food, music. We're going to kind of put all of that in an eight-day little retreat, an encounter with the Lord Jesus. If you're in the World Youth Day, we want you to tune in. All of these resources can be found at allsaintscatholic.net, allsaintscatholic.net. Encourage your friends, encourage your family. If you've never been to World Youth Day, it doesn't matter. Your family and your friends will get tremendous grace out of this. The World Youth Day aspect is just a little bit of a theme to pull it all together and to make it all the more of God. My dear brothers and sisters, Join us for Emmanuel, May 3rd through the 10th, allsaintscatholic.net. Please know my prayers for you. Please pray for us as we fine-tune our preparations. And through God's grace, may we become the saints that he's calling us to be. Amen.